Good evening and welcome to the Defiant City Council meeting for tonight, January 5th, 2021. Before we get underway for our first City Council meeting for the new year, let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can gather together in person, that we can discuss the matters of the City of Defiance. Lord, as we start gathering for the new year, I ask that you give us wisdom, uh, hearts that are willing to serve those who are trusting us. Lord, please give us thoughts that are, are, are clever, are planning, and are purposeful so that we can benefit the people of defiance. We ask that your presence be here this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, let the record show that all members of council are present. Most of us are here in person, but by video is Mrs. Crutch. Are you here, Mrs. Crutch? I'm here. And Mr. Engel, are you here by video? Yes. Excellent. So as we get underway, would you please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I've reviewed the index minutes for our last city council meeting of December 8th. Um, does anyone have a motion to correct or amend the index minutes? Uh, without any, I have approved them. Uh, do we have any liaison meeting requests or reports? Which brings us to council comments. Do we have any comments from council before we get under the items of legislation for this evening? Any comments, Mrs. Crutch? No, not right now. Mr. Engel? No. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> All right. I do have a couple things before me. Uh, a couple of liquor license transfers. Uh, the first one is from Primo's Italian Restaurant and Lounge Incorporated doing business as Primo's and, and Patio at 515 Hopkins Street here in Defiance to La Cucina di Corina LLC doing business as Stefano's Restaurant and Patio also at 515 Hopkins Street in Defiance, Ohio. Um, does it, do any members of council request a hearing on this? Um, if are you in favor? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say nay. Uh, the next up is from Ottawa Oil Company Incorporated doing business as Defiance Party Mart at 1841 East 2nd Street here in Defiance being transferred to J Petroleum Incorporated doing business also as Defiance Party Mart at 1841 East 2nd Street here in Defiance. <laughs> Uh, do we have a request for hearing on this? All those in favor of approval say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Aye. Right. Third up is also Ottawa Oil Company Incorporated doing business as Get and Go Party Mart at 1535 Ottawa Avenue. Two, J Petroleum Incorporated doing business as Get and Go Party Mart also at 1535 Ottawa Avenue here in Defiance. Uh, do we have a request for hearing in this issue? All those approving say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. And lastly, from the Ottawa Oil Company Incorporated at 1163 South Clinton Street here in Defiance to J Petroleum Incorporated at 1163 South Clinton Street here in Defiance. Uh, do we have a request for hearing in this matter? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. Thank you. And those are the items in front of me. Um, Mayor McCann. Uh, thank you, President McMaster. I really don't have anything specific, but uh, I want to wish all members uh, of council a happy new year. And everyone in the community, a happy new year as well. 
and uh, looking forward to a uh, much more prosperous and progressive uh, 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Leonard. Nothing at this point tonight. Uh, Mr. O'Donnell. Nothing for me at this time. Wow. And Mr. Leonard. Same, nothing at this time. Okay. Uh, we do have, I believe, eight items for consideration this evening. First reading by caption only. An ordinance vacating a portion of Adams Street between Fells and Adams Edition in Waverly Heights. Revised plat and accepting a permanent easement. Mr. O'Donnell. Thank you, Mr. President. As, as you drive down Adams Street and Mr. Mass Ward uh, to the intersection with Corwin Street, um, you, you'll notice that there is a portion of the roadway that stops being a road and then picks up about a block later and picks up as Adams Street. Um, that's never been a uh, physical street that the city has paved. Um, and there's a 10 and a half foot east west alley behind uh, a house located at that location or at, at that spot. And uh, the property owner uh, adjacent to these rights of way has proposed to vacate, petitioned the, the city to vacate um, both the uh, 60 foot north south portion of at the, the ad, unpaved portion of Adams Street and the 10 and a half foot uh, alley um, that's east west. Um, it's a right of way vacation by voluntary peti petition pursuant to nine, section 905.19a. The city provided due notice in the Crescent News for six consecutive weeks as required by law. Planning Commission heard the item uh, on their agenda both in the January 2021 meetings as well as the November 17th, 2021 Planning Commission meeting. Uh, they heard it twice due to an amendment to the petition uh, later on last year and recommended vacation of both the 60 foot right of way and the 10 and a half uh, foot east west right of way. Uh, this bill must receive three readings under our ordinance. So my recommendation to you is to uh, let consideration of this matter lie for two more readings. Okay. Oh, do we do we have any questions from council, Mr. Waxley? I was just going to make a motion right away. Oh. If we have no if we have no questions, we have a motion to let lie from Mr. Waxler. Second, Mr. Mast. All in favor to let this issue lie. Say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Okay, we will let this lie. First reading by caption <clears throat> only, an ordinance authorizing a contract for the construction of a granular activated carbon filtration system and declare an emergency. Mr. Leonard. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this is actually a very important piece of legislation, certainly um, important towards uh, our water system. This is what's called GAC. It's something that's been in the, the planning stage, the engineering stage, and I'm happy to say uh, now it's in the construction phase of development. We secured a contract, the lowest in, uh, bid with Peterson Construction Company out of Wapakoneta. Uh, at $9,036,000, uh, along with the, uh, the bid, the winning bid is a 0% loan that we can receive from uh, the EPA, which is really from the, the Water Supply Revolving Loan Fund. It is important that we move this piece of legislation on. I think we've had several discussions over the last year about GAC. We would like to move this on so we can make sure that we can secure the 0% loan at this point. And once this legislation is passed, we will forward this on to uh, officials uh, at EPA so we can secure the 0%. And 0% in terms of uh, the loan, that's, that's saving a lot of money. And I think we want to move forward to make sure that we uh, can sec uh, secure that that right with the program, and I would ask that you pass this tonight. All right. Thank you. Mr. Uresti. 
I think this is a good project. It uh, benefits the community. I think it's something the community's uh, been wanting for a while. I think it's money well spent, and I support this. Uh, there's no other comments. Make a motion to suspend and call. Uh, do we have a any? Second, sir. No other questions? I do have, do have a question for Mr. Leonard. Is this, are we looking at uh, years? Are we looking at 20? 20. 20. 20, okay. 20 years, yep. Thank you. Without any other questions, we have a motion to suspend and call. We have a second. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Ingo? Yes. Motion to adopt. We have a Mr. Waxler motion, motion to adopt. Second. Second, Mr. Mass? Second. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Ingle? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Right. And this ordinance is adopted. First reading by caption only, an ordinance approving and ratifying a collective bargaining agreement between the City of Defiance and the local 918 International Association of Firefighters, AFL-CIO, AFL and declare an emergency. Mr. Leonard. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'm happy to announce that we have reached agreement with both fire and police unions. Um, I must say, and uh, when we first got started on contract negotiations, first of all, I was afraid that we would not be able to secure a three-year deal because of finances and the fact that we had uh, the COVID issues surrounding us. But I am happy to announce that we do have a three-year contract with both unions. Um, to say that uh, it was difficult, would I, I think that that would be um, not accurate. It was actually very easy to sit down with both unions to negotiate the deal. Um, I think we all wanted to make sure that we could move forward, especially with the finances and uh, just what has been taking place in, in 2020. I think we were all very anxious and, and ready to move on to, to get to a nice three-year deal. We did. And I really have to commend both unions and their uh, leadership because uh, they really did step up to the plate and um, participate. And, you know, it wasn't these, these things with language issues and changing certain things within the contract. Uh, there was a lot of, you know, um, back and forth. But um, I got to tell you something. It was probably uh, the, the one time that I can ever remember that um, we could agree to disagree. And if we needed to take something off, we did. And if we needed to, to maybe say, if you give us that, we'll give you this. And it was actually, honestly, one of the easier negotiations. These people really stepped up. Uh, I really have to commend the leadership of both unions. It was, it was a good experience for all concerned. It really was. I, I ask you tonight to approve this. I think I sent out some details in, uh, in an email, but uh, again, uh, I have to commend both unions. It was a pleasure to deal with both of them. Thank you. Do we have any questions for Mr. Leonard? We have no questions. No further questions. Motion to suspend and call. Uh, Mr. Mast has made a motion to suspend and call. Second, Second Mr. Waxler. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Ingo? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. And do we? Uh, I just want to make a motion to adopt. A motion to adopt, Mr. Hancock? Second. Sorry. Mr. Waxler? Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. And Mr. Rusty? Yes. 
and this ordinance is also adopted. First reading by caption only. An ordinance approving and ratifying the collective bargaining agreement between the City of Defiance and Local 166, International Union of Police Association, AFL-CIO, and declare an emergency. Just one final comment is that no two negotiations for uh, <clears throat> provisions in each negotiations are alike. You uh, might find one front loaded, one back loaded. You might find that there's different language issues that that we had discussed that um, there were trade offs. So just purely looking at it at face value, you really can't do that. You have to look at other issues that that uh, the parties got or didn't get or gave up. So, as I said, no no two contracts are alike, but at the end of the day, uh, it was a great experience for all, all parties concerned. Thank you. Mr. Baxler? No further questions, we'll suspend the call. If we have no questions, we have a motion to suspend and call. Mr. Waxler? Second. Mr. Second, Mr. Corbett? Mr. Waxler? <clears throat> yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. And Mr. Mass? Yes. And the motion, do we have a motion to adopt? I'll make a motion to adopt. Mr. Corbett, motion to adopt. And I'll second. Second, Mr. Hancock? Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. And Mr. Waxler? Yes. This ordinance is also adopted. First reading by caption only. An ordinance amending ordinance numbers 6606 and 8138 by expanding the geographic size of the Arizona Avenue Community Reinvestment Area, CRA number three. Ms. O'Donnell. Mr. President, the ordinances tonight come in pairs, and this one is no different. This is, uh, these next two I'll talk about together with your indulgence. Uh, they deal with expanding the community reinvestment areas, in uh, two of the community reinvestment areas of the city, the Ayersville Avenue, CRA number three, and the Southwest Defiance, uh, CRA number four. Uh, and the goal is to expand these, as I stated, um, and this is a program that provides property tax exemptions for to property owners who make improvements, certain improvements on their properties um, within these zones, and it exempts a certain percentage of the increase in market value of those improvements from their real property taxes. Um, so if you were to uh, build a um, industrial facility, uh, the increase in value um, in the auditor's valuation uh, would be exempt for a certain period, a limited period, period of time. And in these two areas, the maximum exemptions are 100 percent um, of the increase in market value for 15 years for uh, new industrial commercial construction, 100 percent for 12 years for industrial or commercial remodeling, 75 percent for uh, various years, depending on the zone and, and project for residential construction and for remodeling. But I, I want to inform you, it all, it all depends on the exemption agreement that the property owner is able to uh, secure with both city council and the local school board. Um, our new CIC director, uh, Ms. Willitzer, wanted to be here tonight, but I believe she's at actually at one of the school boards uh, as we speak, uh, going over these expansions with them. Um, and I'm aware of only one, we don't have anything for you tonight or anything in the works, um, but I am aware of one project that may come to you in the near future uh, in this, uh, I believe it's CRA number three. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, upon passage, the uh, clerk will publish this are these expansions in your local Crescent News once per week for two consecutive weeks. And then we'll go ahead and send it down to the state of Ohio for final approval. 
Thank you. So first one up is for consideration is the CRA three. Yes. Okay. Do we have any questions on either one of these for Mr. O'Donnell? The, the, it says the minimum uh, exception shall be 2500 from the improvement. What, I guess I'm kind of confused on that, John. Uh, you have to spend at least that much to and be able to secure the exemption on the improvement. Or uh, two family dwellings, five thousand, so like a uh, apartment house is five thousand. Like a duplex. Okay. And then they can get how much of that? Uh, whatever the increase is after you complete the project, whatever the increase is in the auditor's valuation, um, you can get for yeah for a residential up to seventy five percent of that increase exempted from your property taxes. Okay. All right. We have any other questions? Any questions, Mrs. Crutch or Mr. Engel? Okay. Okay. So the first of these two ordinances is ordinance numbers 6606 and 8138 for CRA number three. Uh, what, are, what are council's wishes for this? No further question. We'll suspend and call. We have a motion to suspend and call from Mr. Waxler. Second, second Mr. Rusty. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. And Mrs. Crutch? Yes. And do we have a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt Mr. Mast and a second? Second. Mr. Corbett? Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Ingo? Yes. And Mr. Corbett? Yes. The ordinance is approved. And so, uh, secondly, we have the second ordinance amending number 7277, and CRA number four. Do we have any? Follow-up questions for Mr. O'Donnell in these regards. Yes, sure. Okay. First reading by caption only an ordinance amending ordinance number 7277 by expanding the geographic size of the Southwest Defiance Community Reinvestment Area CRA number four. And this is very similar to number three, except the one in blue. <laughs> At the top. Mr. Waxman? No further questions. No suspending call. Second, Second Mr. Mast. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mast? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. And Mr. Hancock? Yes. Right. And we have a motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Mr. Mast? Second. Mr. Waxler? Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. And Mr. Rusty? Yes. <clears throat> and then this ordinance is also adopted. First reading by caption only. In ordinance pertaining to the compensation of non bargaining personnel during the calendar year 2021 and declare an emergency. Mr. Leonard. Thank you. Um, so each year, the uh, City Council is charged with reviewing and considering the wages of non bargaining employees. And um, as um, in keeping with the two bargaining unit contracts you approved just minutes ago, um, the administration is recommending that the non-bargaining employees in the city earn a comparable increase in 2021. This ordinance specifies a 2.5% increase for all of those employees who are not currently in a probationary status. Um, meaning if someone was recently promoted or otherwise given an increase in pay outside of the course of an across the board increase, they would not be eligible for another increase on January 1. 
But um, other than that, everybody else would be eligible for the two and a half percent who is not in a bargaining unit. Um, we occasionally have exceptions to that built into this ordinance. And then this year we have a single exception. Um, council had previously been apprised of uh, <coughs> uh, the interest in increasing the wage of the council clerk. And that um, met with general uh, approval and is included in this ordinance as well. Thank you. Uh, do we have any questions from council? With no questions, what are council's no questions? Motions? Motions. 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 Mr. Waxman, Ms. motion to suspend and call. Second. Second. Mr. Mast? Mrs. Tratch? Yes. Mr. Ingo? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. And Mr. Wexler? Yes. And do we have a... Was that Mrs. Crutch? Mrs. Crutch has made a motion to adopt. We have a second? Second. Second. Mr. Engel? Mr. Engel? Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. And Mrs. Crutch? Yes. All right. This ordinance is also adopted. First reading by caption only an ordinance authorizing monthly transfer of funds for the city to finance Ohio for the year ending December 31st, 2021. And Mr. Leonard. Thank you again. Um, as we do every year in January, uh, we ask the council to authorize the budgeted transfers uh, for the coming nine months. The first nine months of the year are incorporated in here. Uh, those transfers were a part of the 2021 budget that has previously been approved. And um, upon passage, we will make these transfers every month through September and probably be back to you in October with potential changes for the last, in each of the last three months of the year. Thank you. Um, Mr. Rusty. Other questions, motion to spend a call. If we have no other questions, we have a motion to suspend and call. Second. Second, Mr. Hancock. Mr. Corbett? Yes. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. And Mr. Ingle? Yes. Yes. All right. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt, Mr. Hancock. Second. Second, Mr. Waxler. Mr. Hancock? Yes. Mr. Rusty? Yes. Mr. Mass? Yes. Mr. Waxler? Yes. Mrs. Crutch? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. And Mr. Corbett? Yes. And this ordinance is also adopted. With those items addressed, with the prevalence of COVID and the rules sus suspended. Uh, we still take emails or messages or even conversations from citizens in order to be brought up during citizens' concerns. Does any member of council have an email or a message or something from a citizen that they wanted to address during citizens' concerns? Um, I had one. It was a follow-up question from an email that we had gotten earlier and of course because i put it right here where i would never misplace it it was from uh, paula bowman she had emailed me about the guardrail along river road and that we had talked about it back uh, late summer early fall before it had gotten too rainy or too cold about replacing the guardrail or something so that cars going down that road from the college uh, under River Road wouldn't say slide into the river. Right. And she was asking me to follow up to see. So, yep, I think Mr. Leonard or either one can, I guess Mr. Leonard will fill in any gaps, but our city engineer, Melinda Sproul, worked with our county engineer, uh, Warren Slaughter, and uh, the, the 
it's in the works. It, it'll be done as soon as it can be done. I, I should mention to council that we have had some people that live up on East High Street object to the construction of that. But Mrs. Sproul did do her due diligence, and as, as did Warren, and uh, it definitely warrants a guardrail for all standards. It's a safety concern that's been brought to our attention. Uh, I think, in all honesty, we would be negligent, if you will. Maybe Mr. O'Donnell doesn't want me to use that word, but no. uh, um, Actually. <laughs> I already have. He um, assumes no liability up and until right. the guardrail. And, and, and we, we, we just, we, we can't ignore the issue. We, we need to get that guardrail put up, and, and, and we're working towards that. Uh, the cost, as I recall, Jeff, was around $9,000. It is a project, I believe, that the county engineer yep. will do. Yep. Okay. Not the city, not city workers, but right. the county. The county will take care of that for us. Okay. And we can let them... Rest assured that this is not a forgotten issue, that it's actually being addressed and is in the works to be accomplished, right. even now. I think we all know Warren, we all know Melinda. Right. They will get it taken care of just as soon as they can. Excellent. Mr. Corbett. Just a question. Um, are we uh, finally live on YouTube? That looks like a no. Um, yeah. Well, the reason why I'm asking when it comes to citizen concerns, if we're live, if somebody has something that they want to address at the time of the meeting, they might be able to email their respective representative and we could do it live and in color while we're here. So I, that may be an option to look at in the future for citizens concerned since they've been virtually locked out for a while. So, Right. So um, during the week, um, they could email uh, email any of us, or even since that's a good point. If we're on YouTube Live, if there's a, a topic that's brought up or an issue that's being discussed, we could hit refresh before as we were going into citizens' concerns um, and ask it right then. Our, all the council members' email addresses are at the city site, so it's an easy lookup. But that's a good point to bring up. Yes. There's also just so you know, there's a chat. I do have chat open. Okay, it's just another opportunity for them to express yeah. their opinion. Yeah. So we had YouTube live working yeah. the first few weeks that we linked up. Then I think we went a couple of meetings where the connection was lost, did not feed live. Of course, the recording is there and it got posted after the fact, but it did not run live. Um, since then, I believe we're running live, but Lisa and Ethan would know better than I do, but I'm not aware. It says live. Not. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. been, uh, you know, there's some delay in, uh, you know, maybe a couple of minute or a minute delay from the time we start and it gets loaded on YouTube. So there might be a little bit of a lag. Um, if you were to uh, start recording on your phone, shooting up to YouTube live, it would go just like that. And we have this delay that is, we can only believe that it's because the, it, we're being fed through multiple pieces of equipment before it shoots out of the building, so to speak. And um, we are investigating what we can do to improve that and, and to avoid that it goes dead altogether. But I don't know that we have a perfect solution yet, but we're working on it. Mrs. McCann has informed me that she's watching intently from home. Good. Oh, good. good. <laughs> and with the good news with multiple vaccines being being administered, ideally the situation where we have to suspend the rules will be fixed more sooner than later. But I've been wrong about this before. <laughs> but as, as soon as the, uh, the COVID crisis clears up and uh, attending won't present an immediate danger to people contracting the virus, we can undo this so that people can start attending again. Mr. Corbett. Just one more comment when we're talking about electronic technology now. The state of Ohio has given us the opportunity to do virtual meetings that we should, if needed, be able to take advantage of. I'm not sure we're at a point where with our system that we have set up, you're using Lisa's phone to get two council people here 
rather than these laptops we're carrying? Is there anything else we can do to make it? Part of what we have in are investing in with in investing in with the CARES Act funding that was made available to us would be um, upgraded literal TV screens on the walls that I think will feed better. I, I'm, I, I don't want to make a promise that I'm, I'm not sure I don't know what I'm talking about, but I believe we're making improvements in every conference room in all the city buildings. And I believe that this room will be included in that to give us the best capability that we can. I don't believe we have that right now, but it's in the, again, it's in the works. There's a whole lot that has been purchased and needs to be installed in the last few months as a result of that flush of funding that came in and it's all being worked on. With, with the new strain out there, it may become apparent that we need to conduct the city business virtually. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do that. So. Now I'm getting messages from multiple people telling me they're well, watching. Good. So. They all know good. You. Yeah. good. You'll be reading all, all the, the All the way from New Bavaria, Ohio. Debbie Stevens <laughs> says that she's watching too. Very Thanks good. for joining us. Yeah. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Any um, other last comments or I questions? Say, along with that technology, we could probably also include Mrs. Crutch and Mr. Engel in that YouTube as well. Um, currently, they're not visible on our YouTube, um, but we get that technology be able to put them on there as well so yeah we'll be able to see uh the background yeah <laughs> all right unless there's anything else do we have a motion to adjourn for this evening make the motion mr president motion and we have a second 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 mr hancock all those in favor of adjourning for this evening say aye aye, aye. all those opposed okay we are adjourned